Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be playing the Swift F7, 8.7 British fighter jet. Uh, it's got a really good afterburner, two Aidens, weirdly placed on the side of the fuselage, but they're very, very strong if you get them right. Um, this plane took me a while to get used to. I'd played a lot of the Swift F1 beforehand, uh, fully spaded both of them. Um, I quite like it though. Uh, after a few games, once I got the hang of the new guns, I was consistently getting three to four kill games and it's a really fun plane to play uh just been flying around you recently and i decided fuck it I'll, re I'll record a video see how it goes see what i can do don't really know what to talk about yet but you know that's you learn these things i'm taking it out with the fire flashes because even though they're not perfect anymore you know you get a missile marker so they're not so easy to catch someone by surprise in a head-on they're still very good missiles uh, if you get the right circumstance you know they're Mouse guided, so they're not too hard to use. They, de they don't deviate much, so you do have to be pretty good with your aim when you initially fire them, but good missiles. Um, as you can see, I've turned on my tree color smoke to just flex on all those people that weren't around for the twitch drops, because I'm that kind of guy. Um, I'm doing the usual rush tactic that a lot of people don't do in jets anymore, because uh, people think climbing is how to play the game, and well, I understand that in props. Obviously, you want the altitude because you can't build up that much speed. In a jet, you accelerate faster the more speed you have. So uh, it makes sense to side ru uh, to rush until you're like max speed and then start climbing. So that's what I usually do in the Swift F7. And the afterburner, it gets you to that speed quite quickly. So you'll be climbing not too far fast anyways. Um, so as you can see, uh, oh, Thor just absolutely annihilated that B29. I'm not seeing too much of what's going on, but... Yeah, and then I come up at uh, H5 going for a uh, bomb base, and I'm deciding, you know what, fuck it, I'll go after it. Should be an easy kill, right? It's a down tier. Um, it's a 9 to 8 game, I think. Swift absolutely decimates in this kind of thing. It's one of the fastest jets out there at this BR. Um, so, unless you're up against lightnings and stuff, you'll have a good time with it, getting away from people. Oh, I completely butcher those shots, that should be an easy kill. But um, no, I missed them completely because potato aim, am I right? Uh, as you can see, an enemy MiG-17 AS has just rocketed his teammate, so that's very helpful for our team. You know, everyone, you laugh at the premiums, but they do that all the time. Now here, a glorious example of when to use the fire streak, uh, the fire flashes, you know, they're just ka-chow. I could have probably waited and then used guns, but um, as you can see later, I don't really use the other fire flash too effectively, so it wouldn't have mattered. Now, uh, I see where the enemies are, the MiG-17, someone above me, deciding, fuck it, I'll go for a head-on, I'll try and push a head-on with the Fire Flash, see what happens, see if I can get a kill with it. And that doesn't quite happen, but I do get something else coming out of this, so it's not too bad. Just telling my team that I'm going after the guy, because no one ever cares anyways. Now that shot, again, that should have been an easy kill. I don't know how I missed, but happens. Daily to 100, I decide, fuck it, I'm going to use my Fire Flash, see if I hit. And he dodges because, you know, they now get a missile marker, so why would you ever pull a head on against a Swift F7 when you see that? You've got to fire it a lot closer nowadays, but that makes it more dangerous because they can shoot you. And again, another complete potato shot. I don't know what's going on in this match. I just missed so many of these shots that should have been so easy. And I'm pretty sure my ping is not that high anyways, so I don't know what was going on. This makes 17 thinks it's a good idea to push a head on. You get a nice, easy crit there. Um, one of the beautiful shots I think this whole match. I'm pretty excited about it. Now the rest of the match is pretty lackluster, not much goes on. I'm just waiting. My team seems to do a pretty good job, and this MiG-17. Oh, I'm going around to confirm the kill, because it just says I got his uh, gear leg, but apparently I got a lot more than that. I've been having that a lot recently. You know, I'll go and I'll shoot someone, and it'll say, oh, rudder damaged or elevator damaged, but they'll be flying perfectly. Whereas, like, that guy shot his gear leg, he was obviously too damaged, and he jade out. So, I don't know. This Gaijin just happens. Um, that's about it for the gameplay wise so I'm just I guess I'll talk about what's going on then um, I'm staying at home recently because coronavirus you know I had to go home stay with my parents university all got cancelled and starting two weeks later than usual waiting for a new flat to open up so I can actually move stuff like that Here we can see I'm just I'm trying to find someone to shoot, and because I've been 
you know, going so fast and pushing head-ons with them as they come in their flight path. You know, there's not many people for me to actually go for. I see this G91 and I decide, you know what, I'm going to pounce on it, go after it. And just, you know, got to make sure I don't compress because this thing flaps. Although they, they, they work at high speeds, they actually counteractively make your turn circle wider when you use them at high speeds. So that's a bit annoying. As you can see, I didn't really have the chance to go for a shot on the G91 because I was going to compress too much if I tried to pull in and probably would have hit the ground. Pull around for the attack, but I'm pretty sure someone else gets him here, so... Kind of sad. If you look here, my aim, again, absolutely potato. Those should have hit, or I should have been able to hit those. But it happens, you know? Teammate catches him. Does he? Yeah. So, there's another U91 down. Not too many enemies left alive. And doing pretty easy, well for myself. Can't wait for things to get back to normal, you know? Um, waiting for summer to end so I can go back to uni. Start doing stuff. Hanging out with mates. Going out. Having a good time. I mean, you know, it's just, you just have to wait and that's just how things are. I'm going to talk about something that isn't really to do with this match either, but um, Lightning F6 should not be 9.7 at all. Now I understand it is completely clubbed at 10.0. I played it at 10.0, I researched it and unlocked it like two days after they released it, and I grind out, grinded out until I got the fire streaks, and then I gave up because it was just absolutely horrible playing that thing. But I don't play it now because it's boring. You know, you just, you're so much faster than everyone else. You just fly around and you just ignore them. You're like, you know no one's going to touch you. You're the one that's putting yourself in dangerous positions when you fight. So, if you die in the Lightning F7, it's either because you've run out of fuel, because you can't hit anything, or um, you've just done stupid things. You've gone into head-ons, you've done things that you just really shouldn't have, and it's not a fun plane to play. Um, I'd really like it if they fixed up that BR, because I think 10.3 is, is so not fun to play. Like you've got all these R60s, you've got the... Uh, A9Js, I think it is, and like the, it's just not fun. Um, it's missile thunder all day, and the the weird BR block at 9.7, like I feel like it would be more fitting at 10.0, or maybe just 9.7s to 10.0s have their own BR bracket. Not really sure how to fix it other than you know decompressing, but Kaijin's never gonna do that, that's for sure. But um, yeah, as you can see, I found the last guy. He's he's a bomber, up high. I just see his dot barely. I'm going after him. Hanging him out for the team. Let him on there. Just going after him. Uh, this is the first time I've ever tried making a video, so obviously kind of rambling, not really knowing what to talk about. Hopefully I'll get better at it if I continue doing this, but who knows. Again, calling out for my team that I'm going after him, just in case they need to know his altitude as well. I think my teammate also tells me, but... I'm at the same altitude, so it doesn't really matter in this case. Now I'm heavily leading this, so I probably could have found a better attack profile, but I'm coming in so fast, he's probably not going to hit me. Saw off his tail in a clean burst. I on out of there, and that's game. Now this, this is what I love about Weapon. I love playing like this BR if it's Jazz. If I have to play Jazz, I'm playing this BR because it's fun. Anyway, thanks for watching. I know it's not the best video on the internet, but... Thank you for sticking around if you stuck around this far, and um, have a nice day. See you guys.